In this example, we begin with 100 ml of water found in this container, 100 ml of ethylene glycol found in this container, and we're told that the vapor pressure of pure water is 500 mmHg. And what that basically says is the pressure exerted by these molecules, the gas molecules, is 500. What we want to do is we want to mix these two containers and then find the vapor pressure of water. So we want to mix them and find the pressure exerted by these water molecules on the walls of the container. The first step is to find the moles of water. The second step is to find the moles of ethylene glycol. And a third step is to use the formula to find vapor pressure. Now in the first step, before we find the moles, we first have to find the amount in grams of water. To find the amount of grams of water, we must first look up the density of water. The density of water is 1 gram per uh, ml. So we take our volume of 100 mLs multiplied by 1 gram per ml. The mLs cancel and we get 100 grams of water in our beaker. Now in the second step, we have to find the molecular weight of water. To find the molecular weight of water, we simply add up the atomic weights. So oxygen is 16 grams per mole plus two times, because we have a substitute of two, one grams per mole gives us 18 grams per mole. So the molecular weight of water is 18 grams per mole. Finally, we take this guy divided by this guy and we get 5.56 moles of water. That's how you find moles. The second step is the same exact step, except it's for ethylene glycol. Now we have to look up the density of ethylene glycol and the molecular formula for ethylene glycol. So we follow the same exact steps, 100 milliliters, because we have 100, times 1.15 gives us, the mLs cancel, 115 grams of ethylene glycol, so a little bit more than water. Our second step is to find the molecular weight of ethylene glycol. We, uh, we follow the same exact step, we add up the atomic weights, and we get 62 grams per mole. Finally, to find the moles, we take our amount in grams divided by our molecular formula, and we get 115 divided by 62 equals 1.85 moles of ethylene glycol. Finally, we use our formula to find the vapor pressure of the water molecules in this system. We simply multiply the mole fraction of water times the vapor pressure of water in the initial system. And that is 5.51 divided by the total number of moles, the mole fraction, 5.56 plus 1.85 gives us some fraction. That fraction is multiplied by 500, and that gives us 375.17 mmHg. And that's the vapor pressure of these water molecules. Now, it should be less, and that's because we have less water molecules on the surface because now we have ethylene glycol molecules on the surface. And so less water molecules are evaporating. And that means the vapor pressure of water in the new system should be less. And it is less.